Hello everyone, this is Money Mom, welcome to the channel. This is a February health and wellness update and also in addition to that, an update on my visit from the doctor and I'm gonna read you what my blood work says and something that was very high at the doctor, so stay tuned for that. First, I'm gonna tell you I did three challenges for the month of February, actually four. First, we're gonna start with the steps challenge. I joined Joel and Christy over at the long run with Joel and Christy. I know I've done collabs with them, many of you guys know them, and we did the steps challenge. I overall did pretty well. I had some days where I didn't do as well, but I moved a lot more than I normally do, and I wasn't as sedentary. Did, it, did any weight loss happen because of it? No, because I was eating more than I needed to, and you know what, you can exercise all day long, uh, but when you are in your late 50s and you're not taking in less calories, doing even eight, 9,000 steps a day does not equate to weight loss. So, But it got me moving and not being a sedentary, and so that was really positive. If I was on the phone, I was walking around. I wasn't sitting, so that's really good. I did three other challenges. One, I have a habit of staying up late and then sleeping in late, so I got up to an alarm. I still got up later, but I mean, I could literally sleep in until noon if I don't have an alarm. So I was up by, you know, 10 o'clock on most days. Some days I even got up at 9, 15, 9, 30. And then there were some days I got up at 10, 15, I would set the alarm. But I did well. I did get up to an alarm most days. So I did really well on that. I also wanted to stretch almost every day. I was doing well until I hurt myself stretching and I pulled a muscle in my back and I was really in a lot of pain. So I wasn't able to stretch all of the days. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you an exercise my doctor showed me. Next, not eating after seven. I didn't do that well at that. I did on some days, but part of the reason is because we were filming later and then I didn't get around to getting dinner till later on, so like 7.38. And so that is not positive, so I didn't do well at that. But I do feel like I overall did good on the steps challenge and getting up to an alarm. But I'm going to be making more changes with that alarm later. But I'll tell you about that next week. So that is it on that. Now, what am I going to be doing for the month of March? I'm actually going to do something for financial health the month of March. I'm going to do something one of you suggested. I'm going to track all of my discretionary spending. I'm not talking about my bills because I already know what they are. But I actually don't know how much I spend except for groceries when I'm out and about. So I'm going to track all of my spending, whether it's online, whether I buy something at the store. And at the beginning of April, I'm going to let you know how much I spent. Now, on to my doctor's visit. Let me tell you something that was high when I got there, and I'm not sure why. But my blood pressure normally when I go to the doctor is 120 over 70 or 120 over 80 or 123 over 75. It's usually in that range. Well, when I went to the doctor, it was 140 over 80. She's like, wow, your blood pressure is kind of high. And so that wasn't good. But I did get my blood work back, and I thought I would read it to you. I'm not a doctor, and I don't exactly know what these numbers mean. If you have medical knowledge, you can share with me your thoughts. My fasting sugar, I know was good. She said was 86, okay? Vitamin D level was good. That was something else. Kidney function is working well because I do drink a lot of water, which is positive. My total cholesterol was 160, which is below 200, so I guess that's positive. Last time, though, it was a little bit lower than that. My HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol, was 65. My triglycerides, uh, I guess they have to be under 150, were 91. And LDL was 78. So that's kind of what that is. Um, I'm overall doing well. The only thing is, is I'm morbidly obese. We can all see that one. Um, and obviously she would love if I would lose weight. That's kind of common knowledge probably. Now, before I sign off, I'm going to show you the exercise she told me to do. When she said, instead of getting down and trying to stretch and do all these hardcore stretches when you wake up, she said, especially when you get up in the morning, one of the best things you can do is sit in a chair, whatever chair that you can sit in. And she said, just basically go like this in a chair, roll over like this or not roll over, you know, go like this in a chair and let your arms just kind of hang. 
and just do that and go up gently. She said part of the reason why people hurt themselves when they do these stretches is they do these hardcore stretches and they haven't even woken their body up. But she said when she gets up, she sits in a chair and she'll even go like this and go to the side and hang down. And then she'll go to the other side and hang down. She'll let her neck down, she'll let her arms and just kind of go like this and just kind of gently and slowly wake up her body. Once she's had water and she's moved around and gone, you know, around the house, maybe emptied the dishwasher and done some things, then later on when her body and her joints are fully woken up, then she may do some more stretching, such as a squat, things like that. But she does what she calls extremely gentle stretches. She said, I wouldn't get down on the ground. I wouldn't try to touch your toes. She said, it has to be really gentle. And she said, I also advocate for doing stretches when you're laying down in bed just gently stretching and be ever so gentle so that you don't pop or injure yourself because then that's no good. So that's kind of what she told me, but you may want to think about this. And she said, sit in a chair where you're not going to fall over, but if maybe if your chair has some, you know, side, you know, railing type thing on it where you can hold on, but just even just do as much as you can lean over and go like this and just kind of with your arms and let your arms just hang like this. That's what she told me. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. I wanted to share with you my blood work and just kind of what's going on with me. How is your financial health doing? How's, your, how's everything else doing? How's your health doing? What are you working on right now? I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'm going to let you guys know at the beginning of April how much money I spent in the month of March. I'm kind of a little nervous to do this because I've never done it. So that's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.